The College News, your source for all things Murray State. Brought to you by the Murray State News. Good morning and welcome to this week's edition of The College News. I'm Caitlin Mackey. The Assistant Director of Bands is wrapping up his time at Murray State. John Fannin is retiring after 25 years of teaching at the university. He started his teaching career at Murray State in 1995 and has received various awards for teaching. Fannin worked with many programs in the music department, including symphonic band, pet band, and racer band. My, my goal is I will be the happiest if the 2020 racer band is the best racer band ever. That's my goal is to have it continue and flourish, have the institution keep supporting it. We recruited harder this year than we ever did before, trying to set the next person that sits in this chair for success. Starting with National Signing Day on Wednesday, November 13th, Murray State was able to welcome a new group of athletes for next season in their respective sports with a number of high school athletes signing their letters of intent. Cross Country signed 16 recruits, baseball signed 10, soccer signed 8, softball signed 8, women's basketball signed 4, men's basketball signed 4, and volleyball signed 4. Of the 54 signees, 24 were from Kentucky. On Monday, October 21st, senior Murray State student Blake Sandlin was given fifth place in the Associated Collegiate Press Pacemaker Awards for Best Sports Feature, which he wrote about John Morant for the Murray State News. Sandlin competed against numerous collegiate papers across the country and said it was an honor to receive an award. Yeah, there were a lot of prestigious papers uh, and student journalists that were honored um, as finalists. So to even be recognized fifth out of, out of the ten finalists was really an honor for me. Um, it was almost even more of an honor to be able to kind of chronicle John Morant's time at Murray State. Um, his two years here, obviously there was received a lot of coverage um, justifiably, so to be able to kind of tell that story, to be able to talk to so many people that played a role in, in kind of forming who he is today and maybe played a role in developing him as a person, as a player, that was really cool to me. Murray State's campus will be closing on Wednesday, November 27th through Friday, November 29th for Thanksgiving break. If students need to stay on campus during the break, you'll need to fill out the Thanksgiving interim housing form. Lee Clark and White College are the two residential colleges that will remain open for interim housing. Dining services will not be open during the break and will reopen on Sunday. This is our last broadcast of the college news for this semester. An edition of the Murray State News will not be out this week, but there will be one next week. You can follow the Murray State News on social media to keep up with all things Murray State. And the college news will be back in January. That's all for this week's edition of the College News. Have a great week and happy Thanksgiving.